Welcome to our crash course on the most powerful ad tactics for your e-commerce store. This video will walk you through the process of creating a retargeting campaign on Facebook. Retargeting is an ad tactic that helps you re-engage the store visitors who didn't make a purchase. To learn more about it, watch our video. The link is in the description. To run retargeting ads, you need to have a Facebook profile, a Facebook business manager to create, set up and manage all other ad-related assets, a Metapixel with properly prioritized events, a Facebook product catalog, and a Facebook page or an Instagram profile. It will be featured in all the ads you run. If you don't have any of these assets, you can create them for free. Retargeting ads will only work for a fully functional web store with at least one product, at least 100 daily visitors and a verified domain. We'll get into that a bit later. Know that you will need to access the site admin panel and be able to update your website code for some of the ad setup steps. Keep it in mind that the minimum ad budget is $5 a day, so set aside at least $150 for the first month. Just like with any other ads you run, you need to make sure that your store, products, and Facebook page all comply with Facebook advertising policies. The link to them is in the description. We will go over all the steps necessary to create the retargeting ads. If you are 100% sure that you have already completed certain steps, feel free to skip them. First, create a Facebook Business Manager if you don't have one yet. Business Manager is the home for all other ad-related assets you create on Facebook. To start creating it, go to business.facebook.com and follow the on-screen instructions. Be sure to enter all the business details correctly. This shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes. After the iOS 14 update, you need to verify your domain on Facebook, otherwise you won't be able to prioritize pixel events. To verify the domain, click on the Business Settings button in the bottom right corner of your Facebook Business Manager. In the Business Settings, select the Brand Safety tab and select Domains from the left side navigation list. If there is a green check mark next to your domain, it's already verified. If there isn't, click on the Add button and enter your domain in the Add a Domain pop-up dialog. If you have more than one domain listed, select the domain for which you are currently setting up the ads. Choose the method you want to use to verify your domain and follow the on-screen instructions. Now it's time to set up a way to track your store visitor activity. We will need to create a pixel if you don't have one yet, install it on your website and prioritize the events on it. To create the pixel, go to Events Manager. Click Connect Data Sources and select Web. Select Facebook Pixel and click Connect. Add your pixel name. Enter your website URL to check for easy setup options and click Continue. To prioritize the events, go to Events Manager. Click the pixel you want to use. Under Aggregated Event Measurement, select Edit Events. Read through the introduction screens and click Next. Click Edit Events. Keep it in mind that you can only configure 8 conversion events at most. Select your pixel or custom conversion under Pixel slash Custom Conversion. Choose the event you want to configure under Event Name. Drag and drop your events from highest priority at the top to lowest priority at the bottom. Put Purchase Event as the highest priority, that is to the top of the list. Then set Add to Cart Event as the second highest priority and View Content as the third one. Once you're done, click Finish, then Confirm. Now, let's add the Facebook Pixel to your store. Again, if you haven't yet. Go to Events Manager. Select the pixel you want to set up. Click Continue Pixel Setup. Click Use a Partner. Select a partner from the list and follow the on-screen setup instructions. If you cannot find your e-commerce platform on the list, follow the alternative instruction in the description to this video. Ok, now it's time to create Facebook Product Catalog, a container that holds information about the items you want to advertise or sell across Facebook and Instagram. Product Catalog is necessary if you want to create dynamic product ads, the type of retargeting campaign where each of your store visitors sees the ads with the exact product they previously checked out in your store. If you want to show the same non-personalized ad to all of your store visitors, you can skip this step. Before you start creating a catalog, make sure that you have a Facebook page for your business and that you have admin rights to it. Still don't have one? Check the instructions in the description. Go to Commerce Manager and start creating your catalog. If this is your first catalog, click Get Started. Select Add Catalog to create a new one. Select the type of inventory you would like to advertise and then click Next. Choose how you want to add items to your catalog. Select the Business Manager account that your catalog belongs to. This unlocks more ways to use your catalog than selecting a personal account and enables you to assign other people permission to work on the catalog. Enter a name of your catalog. Click Create. Now you can add your items. To add items to the catalog, you can generate a product feed from your store. 
That's a spreadsheet file in CSV, TSV, and XML formats or a Google Sheet that contains all the key info about your products, as well as the links to product images. Note that you will need to generate a new feed and update it every time you make changes to your product range. It's rather time-consuming. This is why we at Advisely handle the product catalog automatically. We update your product list every day and make sure that all these sold-out, hidden, or deleted products don't show up in the ads. Now it's time to create an ad account for your future ads. Now, technically, you already have an ad account. You get it together with your Facebook profile. However, we strongly recommend you to keep all the ad assets related to your business in one place. That is, in the Business Manager you created. In the Business Manager, go to Ad Accounts tab, select the blue Add button, and click Create a new ad account. From the drop-down menu, select Create a new ad account. Name your ad account. It can be the same name as your store URL, for example. Select the business page, enter your time zone, currency, and the payment method. We strongly recommend you to use a separate ad account for every business you own. Now we're getting to the most interesting part, the actual ad setup. The ad creation workflow is made up of three distinct levels. Campaign level, this is where you select the ad objective or overall goal of your campaign. Ad set level, this is where you define the audience you'd like to reach, choose your ad placements, determine a budget, and set a schedule. And ad level. This is where you design the ads themselves. You can choose your ad format, upload images and videos, add text, links, and more. Well, enough theory, let's go to ad creation. In the ad account you created during the previous steps, click Create to open Create a Campaign window. In this window, you'll select the basic settings for your new campaign, ad set, and ad. Select Continue to move to the editing pane. There, you will choose a campaign objective, audience, placement, and ad format. For retargeting ads, you will want to set up conversion as a goal, conversions or catalog sales. Remember to specify the catalog you created during the previous steps. You can enable campaign budget optimization now or keep it for later. You will only need it if you're planning to run more than one campaign at a time. Set the daily budget. You can start at as little as $5 a day. You can change it later, by the way. As you get to optimization and delivery, pick optimization for conversion events and pick purchase as the main event. Remember how we prioritize the pixel events? That's why we did it. Under Audiences, pick retarget ads to people who interacted with your products on and off Facebook, and then choose one of the audiences. We suggest engaging both store visitors and cart abandoners, but the choice is yours. Under Duration, set a period between 7 and 14 days. Shorter campaigns may not have enough impact, while longer durations may get your customers annoyed. Keep placements so automated for now. You will want to run your ads for a while before you decide which platforms and placements to focus on. Under Identity, pick your Facebook page and Instagram account if your business has one. If you don't promote your business on Instagram yet, Instagram ads will feature an unclickable link to your Facebook page. Pick an ad format. Carousel lets you showcase more products, while Single Image lets you focus your customer's attention on a certain product only. Under Headline and Newsfeed Link Description, write short text that will be displayed under your product image in most places. Keep them short and relevant to your product. Primary Text, also known as Ad Text or Ad Copy, is the short text that will show up next to your ad. Here, you can remind your potential customer about your store, share some interesting and useful info about your product, include a promo code, or mention a discount. Keep it short and sweet. In the description, you can find a link with the ad text ideas. Under See More URL, enter your store URL. It will automatically appear at the last slide of your carousel. Choose your call to action. Its text will appear on the button. Shop Now will be our first pick, but be sure to explore the other options. Under Tracking, select the pixel you have installed on your store domain. If you're using any third-party tools, set the UTM parameters here. Check out the ad preview. If you're happy with it, select Publish and Confirm. Facebook will now need up to 24 hours to review and approve your ad. Once it goes live, you will get a notification or an email. All this is a lot of work. I got tired just from telling you all this. There is even more work coming once you need to update and optimize your ad. You can handle this on your own, or you could let it wisely do it all for you. Advisely is a tool that lets you create fully automated retargeting, prospecting, and cross-sell ads on Facebook, Instagram, and Google in just a few clicks. Designed for e-commerce, Advisely lets you save time and sell more with great return and ad spend. You will have a 14-day free trial to see if Advisely is right for your business. You can find all the necessary links in the description. Be sure to check out the videos about other ad tactics and strategies. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and may the sales be with you.